the, the rigs, isn't it? The, the rigs the for rigs. the yeah, Elon Musk. So you have to excuse that they look completely hideous. <laughs> so, she'll give me uh, one of my first quests. So she basically wants me to free her. So, she wants me to kill a scavenger and get the key to, to her chains, basically. So it's just a, just a way to introduce people to, uh, to the quests. And of course, the first thing you notice is that when you enter combat mode, it's vastly different from other MMOs. Uh, instead of, for instance, in Age of Cold, no, I mean in World of Warcraft, you just run up to something, you click on them, and you click on an icon, uh, and you watch the fight pretty much, and you can add, you can add different abilities and so on. In Age of Cold, you actually fight in real time. I hit in different directions like this. You can see the directions represented in this what we call a combat rows, which is basically the keys around the movement keys. So it's Q, one, two, three, E. And yes, this is going to take some getting used to. Uh, the first time I tried it, I thought it was uh, very strange. But once you have played it for a few hours, it just gets totally smooth and it just opens up a, a new world of, of combat, basically. So I can hit in different directions like this. In the start, it's very basic. I'm just armed with a broken board, so uh, it's not much I can do. And I actually have to, I have to aim with my mouse in the direction where, I'm, where I have to hit. There's no targeting, per se. Uh, I have to face my target and hit, basically, so I'm going to kill this guy now. This is going to be very simple, because this is just a tutorial, so... There we go. So very basic. So pick up this key. And this is stuff that you guys will be doing for the first 50 minutes, so... Feel free to go through the tutorial and so on. Run up and save her. So I can go into my quest logs, I can see different quests that I have. For instance, this, uh, <coughs> this is the first step in what we call the Destiny quest, which is a sort of quest line that will run through the entire game. So I can click here, for instance, Shipwrecked. So I can see what my first goals are. I can go in. The, the objectives that I have now is going to the jungle, search the jungle, and kill some of the slavers, basically. So I'll head into the jungle. We're going to combat mode again. Oh. <coughs> That, you know, so you can see I actually have to face these guys to hit them. So it's a very new way of fighting in, in animals. Those things are getting used to. And if there's, for instance, if there's three people lined up uh, next to each other and I make a wide swing, I will hit all of them. So it's basically it's a it's a much more it's a much more dynamic uh, dynamic way of fighting. Uh, we just wanted to step away from the almost ritualistic, turn-based-ish combat system of other animals where you just click on icons. So, and also the combat system opens up once you get further into the game, you get combos. So you actually, you actually have to combine different swings, create cool combo moves like chopping people's heads off and, and arms, and, and make what we call fatality moves, which is basically decapitations and so on. So, let's see. So now I cheated a little bit. I jumped about an hour into the game. And this is Tortosh City. I just want to show you some of how, this, how the city is looking in this game. Uh, once you get to this area here, which is on the other side of the island, this is when you're going to start seeing other players for the first time. I'm playing on my own server right now, so there's no people around. Uh, you can just you know, envision hundreds of, well not hundreds, but tens of players at least, running around here in this area. So when, what you first, what's first probably going to strike you is the incredible detail of the environments in this game. You just, you can just see that everything is really handcrafted. You can see details like this guy hanging here. Uh, and you just, and you just put a lot, a lot of work into these cities. And this is just one of many, many cities in the game. So we're going to open up the gates. We're going to head in. So this is Tortosh City. Again. Very detailed. It's uh, I think we, we even surpassed Oblivion on the graphics, and that's that's one of my favorite games. Really, so. You can just see all the details. You can see you, know, you can see um, you can see Vince's clothes hanging here, blowing in the wind, here, a raven sitting up here. We also have very we have dynamic AI for all the NPCs, so they will actually walk around 
sort of like in oblivion where they will, for instance, get thirsty, they will get tired, they will get hungry, and they will attend to their needs, basically. So this is the first city that players will get to. And, uh, and for the first 20 levels of Age of Conan, you, you play what we call, uh, or what, what's sort of like a half single player game, half multiplayer game. And the way, we've, the way we've solved this is that during daytime, when you're on Tortash Island, you're in a multiplayer universe. You'll see other players, you'll get quests with them, you'll group up, and you'll head out into the jungle and kill things. But you can also go into the inn, and you can sleep, and then you will wake up during the night, and during night time you will be in your own single player universe. And that's when you will do single player quests, and you will, all, you will play what really resembles a single player game for the first 20 levels. Uh, after the first 20 levels, you will leave this island, you will head to the mainland, and that's when the game really, really, uh, really, really opens up, and when day and night becomes dynamic and so on. So, I'm gonna head out again. <coughs> so after you guys have, have uh, tried, uh, have, have been on the island and so on, we're gonna end up here. I'm just gonna ask you to run a script, basically. Uh, some of you are going to play soldiers, some of you are going to play priests. Some, for instance, are going to play a priest now, just to show you. I'm going to level myself up to a level 10 priest. In Age of Conan, we have 14 classes, uh, and we have what we call archetypes. So we have four archetypes. So, when you get to level 5 in a game, you select an archetype, which is either soldier, priest, mage, or rogue. And when you get to level 20, when you leave the island, that's when you select your real class, basically. Again, I cheated, so I've now leveled myself up to a level 10 priest. And you can just see the details in the armor here. It's every every armor piece can be taken off, of course, like I have into my inventory here. I start taking off my helmet, everything. So this is basically the inventory screen. And I can move my mouse cursor over different items. You can see their stats and so on. Probably so, I'm going to head out to the one of the areas that you'll be playing, the Asheroni Ruins, which is one of the adventure areas in, uh, on this island. First, I'm going to equip some spells. I'm going to head into this is basically the spell book. It's not the, the, G, uh, the, the interface, it's not completely done, but this is sort of how it's going to look. So, I'm going to equip what we call a combo. This is the combos. I'm going to equip one of them. And this is my spells friendly and hostile. I'm going to choose all the friendly spells, and I'm going to choose one hostile spell. So there you can, this is now the, the spell bar. And this is this is very simple spell casting that I'm going to show you today. We also have a system called spell weaving, where you can actually combine spells and create your own spells, which is new for MMOs, and if you sort of overdo it, you go into, you'll become soul corrupted and so on. But that's a, that's a more advanced system that we don't really have time to, to go into today. So just going to do the basics. Rough myself up a little bit. There we go. So now I've roughed myself up. You guys which can play priest should probably do this too. Oh, I will. Okay. So now I'm gonna perform a combo move. It's here. I'm do a really cool move. So combo moves are basically when you equip a combo, that's a technique that your character sort of learns. And you can see here the combo is equipped on the, the combo bar down here. I can't click on this icon. I actually have to perform the series of swings to pull off that combo. And you can see here down on down on these combat rows, you can see Q is lighted up in yellow. So if I press Q, then two is gonna light up in yellow. So I'm gonna press Q and then two. And then I perform the combo. Basically, and that's a very, that's a really, really simple combo. It's a two-step combo. But sometimes you actually have to, to perform combos with I think it's up to four, four moves. Is four it? moves. That's yeah. Right. So there's nothing, there's nothing automatic about combat in Age of It's, uh, it's all, uh, it's all about actually having to pull off the moves yourself. <laughs> so if you uh, if you guys die during this uh, play session, all you have to do is type slash res r e set set. 
then you'll automatically get back to life again.